In this video, we're going to be multiplying four digit numbers by two digit numbers. Here is a number sentence. 1,253 multiplied by 24. 1,253 has 1,000, two hundreds, five tens and three ones. 24 has two tens and four ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we'll multiply four by three. Four times three is 12. We can drop the one below in the tens column. Then we can multiply four by five tens. So four times five is 20. Add one more is 21. We can drop the two below in the hundreds column. So now we need to multiply four by two hundreds. So two times four is eight. Add two more is 10. We can drop the one below in the thousands column. So now we need to multiply four by 1,000. So four times one is four, add one more is five. So now we need to multiply two tens by three. As we're multiplying the number by two tens, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So two times three is six. Then we can work out two tens multiplied by five tens. Two times five is 10. We can drop the one down in the thousands column. Next, we work out two tens multiplied by two hundreds. Two times two is four, and then add one more, five. Then we work out two tens multiplied by one thousand. Two times one is two. The next step is to add the two answers together. So two add zero is two. One add six is seven. 0 add 0 is 0, 5 add 5 is 10, and then 2 add 1 is 3. So the answer is 30,072. Let's have a look at one more example. 4,216 multiplied by 52. 4,216 has 4 thousands, 2 hundreds, 1 ten, and 6 ones. 52 has 5 tens and 2 ones. First we're going to multiply 2 by 6. 2 times 6 is 12. We can drop the 1 below in the tens column. Now we can multiply 2 by 1 ten. So 2 times 1 is 2. Add 1 more is 3. So now we need to multiply 2 by 2 hundreds. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we multiply two by four thousands. So two times four is eight. So now we need to multiply five tens by six. As we're multiplying the number by five tens, we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So five times six is 30. We can drop the three down into the hundreds column. Then we do five tens multiplied by one ten. Five times one is five then add three more, which is eight. Next, five tens multiplied by two hundreds. Five times two is 10. We can drop the one down in the 10 thousands column. Then we work out five tens multiplied by four thousands. Five times four is 20, and then add the extra one is 21. The next step is to add the two answers together. So two add zero is two, 3 add 0 is 3, 4 add 8 is 12, 8 add 0 add 1 is 9, then we're left with 10,000 and 200,000. So the answer is 219,232.